everyone welcome back so this is the second part of our uh, previous video which, uh, which was based on the subgrid so in the previous video we saw how we can make any subgrid as editable in this video we are going to see how to lock any field on the subgrid here we have the contact form sorry account form and contact uh, subgrid so even if this all is uh, editable we can edit this company name business phone and all these things I want to lock certain fields in the subgrid so no one can edit this field so with this one we can achieve through two ways one is adding the field level security other one is using the javascript so field level security is pretty simple you can just go add a field level security add the users and give them the privilege instead of that and now that, that has uh, entity level restriction is going to restrict everyone if he is not having the proper privileges but with the javascript we can simply add, enable or disable it from the form itself so right now i'm just going to show the javascript i have the javascript code here which i'm going to lock a field called email address or job title anything is fine so first of all let me come here this is a form so earlier this this form was non-editable if you see it is non-editable and after implementation you can see this is editable okay this is not refreshed that's why it is showing like this so just to make it editable you can go to the uh, make.powerapps.com open the form select the subgrid and it's just a one minute task you can go to the components add editable grid okay otherwise if you want to do it from the classic view just open this is the extension i'm using i'm directly going to open the form editor otherwise you need to go to the advanced setting then the solution then entities and then open the form so I prefer this way if you come here uh, just go select your grid right I'm just giving you an overview of, of what I have covered earlier just in a minute go to controls one second controls and you can see here we have the editable grid option by default it was read only grid okay so you need to enable as a editable grid okay cool now in order to make this fail this field as a lock i want to lock this field currently you can see say not this one here i have uh, logged in into the another browser incognito so here it is working mm -mm. let me show you here i can edit this field right now correct i want to lock this field from other users okay so for that first of all what we need to do is we need to add a javascript so before adding a javascript let me explain you what it is about this is a very simple one simply we are going to check the row what is a row selected uh, in the subgrid if you open this you have different rows right three rows so one selected two selected three whatever so based on let's say if anyone comes here and select this one this field is get, going to get locked on this form okay so now uh, also have added the console everywhere so that you can check in the console what and where value which values we are fetching so first of all this on grid row selected right this defines a function which takes a single parameter context parameter of the form okay and uh, no sorry of the uh, this one of the form and the subgrid then we are using the console just to log a message then here we come context dot get form context uh, form context dot get data what do you call that get get entity and all the entity all the attributes or the fields of that subgrid and i'll be listing in the console it will simply retrieve the form context okay from the context parameter above and then it will access the entity data on whichever entity we register this javascript it is going to access all the entity data it will iterate through uh, what do you call that uh, we have the for each here right for each so it is going to iterate through all the attributes again going to list out all the attributes in the console this is for developer simply for us only now we have if attribute equal to get name equal to equal to email address one so this is nothing but the field instead of this if you want to uh, lock any other field custom field you can just change it so it checks if the current attribute name is email address or not if yes it is going to see so uh, that this email address was found and so in the console otherwise it will say not found cool now coming to this last one which is attribute dot controls dot for each function my field so this is going to just iterate over the controls which is associated with the email address here this one for each control it will uh, what it will do is it will pass the control as the my field 
and uh, then it is going to log the message also like uh, uh, we have this email address field is starting right disabling or enabling like this one so basically first of all we are logging a uh, message indicating this function has been triggered then we are iterating over all the attributes of the form entity and uh, sorry the subgrade entity logging each attributes and then checking if the current attribute is email address one or not if it finds it then it's going again to log that field and going to log the message in the console so this is the functionality now i'm just going to copy this and let's come here this is the form right so i'm just going to create a <clears throat> create a web resource in this uh, and apply on this form mm. okay we have let me just close this close this form properties okay first of all okay there is one a similar it is available here but it is disabled let me just remove it cool I'm going to add this and let's create a new one i'm going to give it as log field log field on subgrid one cool and uh, leave it type as javascript text editing what is it website's name may only include okay here we should not give any space now i'm just going to paste this code okay i'm just i'm going to give you the code in my blog as well which i'll paste uh, the description uh, somewhere in the comment section or details from there you can refer it make sure that email address uh, field is is available in your in your subgrade cool going to save it now save it and publish it let's publish it now again okay. okay so once this is published uh we we need to add it on the form right uh let me just close it <clears throat> so basically click on add now this is added on the form uh now whenever this where is this account so whenever this is loaded i want to log this field so here is one trick which i am going to show you first i am just going to show you how it's going to throw an error now then i'll show you how to resolve that so first of all on this form okay this form only right which one i have opened two form hold on so form properties mm, no let me just give a hard refresh okay so let's come here and we have lock on field subgrid one second let me just open this cool okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add on the on form load event so the function name is function name is on rows selected control c and on form load click on this subgrid going to give this function pass execution context save and publish okay so once this is published let's see whether it's going to log the field or not okay coming here let me just give a hard refresh okay not here let me open in the new browser here brave Cool. So now you can see that one of the script on the sub, sub what on the record has caused an error. This context dot get form context dot get data is not a function. So basically, what happens whenever we want to do perform any operation, we add that uh, function or the function of the JavaScript on the form, right? But right now we are implementing this functionality on the subgrid. So subgrid, see this this field is not getting logged. Basically, in such situation, what we need to do is we need to remove it from here and we need to add on the subgrid so i am going to show you on the subgrid also we have we can register the uh, the events so let me just remove it from here remove it okay 
and double click on the subgrid contacts go to the controls not on the controls one second is this one so here we have one second one second form properties okay. parameters not this hold on wait a sec hold okay so if you see here earlier the event was not visible just click on the events click on the events and we have on change and on load on what is on record select on save so my functionality is whenever i select the record that time the fields will get uh, locked now i'm going to click on add select your subgrid pass the execution context give the this one function name click on okay okay save and publish so now this time it's going to lock the field whenever a record is selected in the subgrid publish okay let me just refresh this okay let me open any other record let's see if this is locking or not Okay, this is not locking because this browser some cache issues there. I'm just going to open again here in another browser. Give me a hard refresh. And anyway, everything is going to be visible in the console, right? So, funds and after let's open the developer mode. Go to the console. Cool. And now I'm just going to select this one. So as soon as I select you can see this field is getting locked now okay this field if i remove this if i come and click try to edit this one it's going to lock but same way here it's allowing me to do any value allowing me to put any value but not on this one and you can see here the function is triggered attribute name all the attribute it is taking from this subgrid and then it is checking that uh, email address field disabled okay so this is the functionality about how we can disable this sorry how we can lock a field on the subgrid same way same way you can also try with the field level security try to add a new field level security try to add the users in that and give the privileges okay so that's all from my end if you have any doubts or any concerns feel free to put in the comment box okay that's all from my side thank you have a good day